It's Hannah. Anna Baker. That's right. And adjust your whatever device you're hearing this on. It's me, live and in stereo. As I'm about to tell you the story of my life. Talking like we used to do. Life is unpredictable. It was all the control we is just an illusion. Shaping up and shipping out. And sometimes all that unpredictability check is me in and check me out. Do you like walking? And it makes us feel small and powerless. When you think of love, do you think of pain? You can tell me what you see. What if the only I way not to feel bad is to stop feeling anything at all? Hold on, darling. This body I've got skin to cover all my thoughts like saran wrap that you can see through what leftovers are inside from the night before. Well, hold on, my darling. I need it to stop. This mess was your. <laughs> I need everything to stop. Now your mess is mine. I just buy it for my skin. My skin is soft. And smooth. Well, it wasn't just my ass. You made it open season on the paper. That is my skull. Me of all people. I told you to stay away from me. Got two hours before my flight. But that doesn't matter, right? Not be on oh, my side tonight. You're the reason that I feel so strong. The reason that I'm At that moment, everything you know you gave me all the time. And for the first time in a long time, I could imagine a future where I was happy. A week before she fucking slit her wrists and died at home, you raped her! The way I see it, there are two different kinds of death. But I've lost control. It's just what I'm gonna have to do. She was right here. I know some of you listening might think there was more I could have done, or should have done. It's like you don't understand. I do understand. Get the fuck out! Why'd you have to leave? It was the worst thing ever. Because you aren't every other guy. You're different. You're good and kind and decent and I didn't deserve to be with someone like you I never would what I mean is I like working with you I think I've made myself very clear no one's coming forward to stop me so none of you cares none of you cared enough and in that moment it felt like it felt like I was already dead.